Good morning friends. Welcome to Parnika Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last few videos I have discussed what are the various phases of a compiler such as lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, intermediate code generator, code optimization and target code generator. Those who are watching all my videos in a sequence they may get a single doubt. Sir in every video you are listing all the six phases of a compiler we are feeling bored. Why I am telling all the phases in a compiler in a sequence is that if you are studying the compiler design course, you should be in a position to answer the six phases of a compiler even at the midnight 12 o'clock. So that's why in every video I am listing them in a sequence. Okay. In the one of the video, I have discussed about the purpose of a lexical analysis. What is the purpose of a lexical analysis? It takes the high level language as an input and it generates the sequence of tokens as an output. So what is the first thing it will do? It will remove the white spaces and the single line comments and multi line comments. Then it will read the high level language each character by character and generates the sequence of tokens. To understand this concept in a better way, I have taken a one high level language code and I want to find how many tokens the lexical analysis will generate. Now we will discuss about it. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Now can you tell me how many tokens it will generate? Int is a data type. So it is a one token and main is a function. Again it will generate another token. Open braces is another token. Close braces is another token. And open curly braces is another token int is again a data type a token a is an identifier so another token comma is also a, a, a token b is an identifier which is a token the semicolon is another token a is again another token equal to is another token tan is a constant which is a token and semicolon is a 14th token and return is another token 0 is a constant is another token and semicolon is another token and closed braces is another token. So how many tokens it generated? The number of tokens generated is equal to 18. Is it clear? Sometimes in university exams or in gate exam or any competitive exam they may give you the high level code and they may ask you find the number of tokens the lexical analysis will generate. Are you able to understand? So int is a one token, main is another token, open braces and closed braces are two different tokens and open curly braces and closed curly braces are two different tokens. Int is in another token, a, comma, b, semicolon. So totally I got till here 10. Then again, a, don't think that a we have already used. So it is not a, another token, it is another token, okay equal to is an operator is a token 10 is a constant which is a token again the semicolon is another token 14 tokens we got then return is a 15 0 is a constant another token 17 18 tokens so totally we got 18 tokens to make you understand the concept in a better way let me take another example int main okay int a is equal to some 5 comma b is equal to 20 okay print of percentage the sum is let's take that sum is percentage d a plus b okay then return 0 I am writing and this is the close base. If you already know how to count the number of tokens, you can pause the video and find the number of tokens in it. Okay. I know that maximum students will do the mistake. If you are learning the compiler design course for first time, how, what is the mistake you will do? I will discuss. First, let me count the number of tokens. This is the token number one, token number two, token number three, token number four. So totally we got the four tokens here. And this is the fifth token int is a another token let me use a different color int is an another token a is an another token 
equal to is another token and 5 is a constant is another token and comma is another token. Is it clear? Then B is another token, equal to is another token, constant 20 is another token and this is another token. So total here I got 14 tokens. Now printf is another token and open braces is another token and this total one within double quotation whatever it is there open braces and double braces whatever is there is one token and this is 18, this is 19, this is 20, this is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So totally I got 27 tokens from this high level long ways code. What is the mistake everyone will do is that if you are learning this comparison course for first time, what is the mistake usually people will do is that they will consider this double quotation. Let's take that something is there. Let's take that Jagadish is there. Okay. What is the thing they will do? The mistake is that they will consider this is a one token. This is another token. This is another token. So totally we got three tokens, but it is wrong. Whatever it is there within this double quotation open and close, whatever it is there totally is a single token. I hope you have understood. Even I have counted the all the tokens correctly. If you want to verify, you can verify 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then printf is 15, open braces is 16, this total one is 17, then comma is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So totally we have 27 tokens. For practice, you can take few more codes and you can check it and you check whether you are getting correctly or not. If you are doing anywhere any mistake or you cannot able to do, feel free to ask me in the comment session. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. If you really like my videos and my efforts, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button. If you think that these videos are very bored, share the videos with your enemies. So I request everyone, don't stop sharing the videos. Share with your friends or with your enemies. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.